Hey, y'all, I'm back at it again. So today we're sizing up a pair of thigh-high boots. As you can see, these boots were so fucking adorable on the model. They fit like a freaking glove. I had to have them. And I, of course, I got them in chocolate because I'm a chocolate girl. But you can only imagine my disappointment when I put these bad boys on. I was beyond distraught because they didn't fit. It didn't even go past the knee. It's clearly a thigh-high over-the-knee boot. I have thigh meat. I have knee meat. I have calf meat. So you know what I had to do? Make it my own. Right now, I'm cutting the center back seam of the boot so I can see how I'm going to approach this to make it fit. And yes, I was crying because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I'm trying to move periodically to see how deep I need to cut this boot to make it fit on my beautiful, luscious thighs and legs. And yes, I feel mind your business. And so far, it's looking good. I decided to take the gusset method approach. So, I'm making a pattern based off the measurements of my leg inside the boot, and I made a gusset. I found some fabric that matched the boot, and I'm making an elastic casing. So, the elastic I used was one inch, and the point of the elastic is so that it sticks to my thighs as I'm walking. Because a thigh-high boot is infamous for sliding down, we don't want those problems. Not for the thick thigh gang, okay? So, right now, I'm putting in the elastic inside the elastic casing of the gusset. I'm going to stitch one side, and then stitch the other. Don't forget to take that safety pin out. And so, now, we're going to lay the gusset along the edge of the center back seam, and we're going to stitch it. So you're going to stitch one side and you're going to stitch the other. So keep in mind, you can only get so far because it's, it's a boot. Once you get as close as you can to the edge, you're going to have a little hole left. And what you're going to do is going to turn that boot out from the side seam zipper. And you're going to get a hand needle and matching thread. And you're going to finish it off with a hand stitch following the same seam allowance guidelines you applied on the machine. And once you do that... You're going to stitch, 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 and you're going to cut away your excess fabric, and then you're you're done. You are ready for your hot date, honey. I'm ready to take these boots on the road. You can't even tell that these were altered or custom made to fit me. I'm ready for my imaginary date with my imaginary man for Valentine's Day. Come on, let's see. Try these boots on, sis. Let's see. We are live seeing this because I didn't even know what I was doing. I ain't never done this before. This is new. So let's see. Get this boot on, sis. Oh, oh, come on, Cinderella. Oh! Bitch and fit!